Hi there, uh, this is my presentation on how to successfully implement a DOS attack on a uh, Apache server up and running on a Windows uh, machine. On the right hand side you can see that that's indeed what is what we have present. We have a, a um, Apache server up and running. On our left hand side we have our Kali machine which is what we're going to use to implement such an attack. Um, if we go back on the right over here, I'm going to confirm that we indeed have we indeed have some sort of internet access. You can see if I scroll down, we indeed have internet. We have access to from the browser to any site we want. We can go anywhere and that is not an issue. It is up and running. We can close this out. And before I even begin my Kali, with my Kali machine, I'm going to confirm our IP, which I already know, our target IP, but I'm going to leave it on screen here. It's 10.0.2.15. We don't need to know this. Like, in order for us to continue, we don't need to know uh, this specifically. We can actually find that, and I can prove that to you if I go... Well, first I'm going to open up Wireshark. And I want to see if packets have been have been transferred, which are not going to be transferred because nothing is happening. But I'm going to start capturing packets from the Kali machine. And if I go back up here to EdderCap, we are going to ARP poison this network. We're going to start seeing some activity now on this once I start ARP poisoning. starting up it's sniffing and like I said we don't necessarily need this because we can actually use EdderCow to find it for example I'm going to scan the network which is happening down here you can see that I'm going to see this the, the list here and indeed we can see we have our list and it is actually right here that is our target IP so we have found it I'm going to add it to target 1 and I'm going to commence the ARP poisoning of the IP address of the network and we are doing it. It is active. We are ARP poisoning our target. So back over here we are going to open up we have to open up LOIC or low orbital ion cannon, which is what we use for our DOS attack. Let me see if I can. There it is, right there. I'm going to open it, open the terminal, and I'm going to open the application ex to execute it. I put in the command. And there it is. Now, we might have some issues once we start get this once we start getting this going with with uh, Wireshark our system resources can necessarily handle it so it might slow down and you might not see it in real time but we're gonna see right now all I have to do is input the target IP which we, this is the exact same one that one five lock it in I'm going to use TCP protocol as our as our method most mostly because we want the three-way exchange we want to be receiving and sending receiving and sending we want to flood this as much as possible and I'm going to inc increase the threads to 200 and here we go and as you can see down here our requests are going in it is flooding the system actively if we go back over here it is indeed uh, lagging a little bit but rest assured it's working um, in order for me to prove that as well I am going to let me see go back over here in order for me to prove that I'm gonna go back to the control panel and I'm gonna open up a browser on the server and try to connect to anything again and there you go
as as uh, as we've been attacking this, the uh, the service struggling to even connect to one website. Let's see if we can connect to any website at all. But yeah, we do have. We are not connected. It is flooding the server. On the left hand side over here, you can actually see the uh, we can actually see that it is working on Wireshark. We can see that the uh, the attack is going through. Attack complete. It is absolutely going through. On the right hand side, nothing. Although the server itself still seems to be up and running, the fact that we cannot we cannot do anything, we can we we can't go to any website, is proof that the server is struggling with all these requests coming in. We are we have successfully DOS attacked this server.